so happy that Obama is so good. It's so good. And I'm on one of those one door too. Yeah, can we have one of those, please? <laughs> I just want to say that I really look up to Obama and Michelle because I'm married and I'm a young married couple, so, you know. Obama better win! I had no knowledge that I could do early voting. Um, I heard about it, but I didn't know where to go, and I definitely didn't know I could do it on Sunday. And my mom had a yard sale on Saturday, mm -hmm. and there was a group of people out doing what you're doing today. Mm -hmm. And they came up and let us know that we could go on Sunday to do early voting. Mm -hmm. And because of that, we went. That is so good. Well, would you ever tell other people that they ought to look into? I've been telling like everybody. My daughter actually lives here, uh -huh. where I live at. She lives in these apartments. Her and her husband are going today. Oh, yeah. Well, now, you know, I think that early voting stopped today at noon. Uh, oh, okay. Well, I know she was supposed to go today. I don't know if she did, uh -huh. um, but I did let her know. Right. Well, did she know about tomorrow? You know, tomorrow's... Yes, sir. Uh, we all know about tomorrow. And, and you know where she's supposed to go? Yes. She's supposed to go to John Marshall High School. That's she right. Here. And she has to take with her a photo ID. Uh-huh. And is she a first-time voter? No, she's voted before. Oh, so then she doesn't have to worry about taking a, a utility bill right. or anything like that. Right. She's she's familiar with what she has to have. I was asked a question by one of the people who lives in this complex, mm -hmm. and I couldn't answer it, and I just thought I'd maybe see if you know anything about the answer to this question. Okay. The gentleman asked me if a person who is on probation can vote, and I didn't know. Do you know anything about that? I really don't know for certain on when a person is on probation. Mm -hmm. um, I did hear that even though you've had a felony and a Past that you possibly could still vote, but I uh -huh. don't know about a person if they're currently on probation. Right. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I, I don't know. Hi, to... Jason. It's <laughs> one of my neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jason, I have a question for you. Do you know if a person is on probation if they could vote or not? I think not. Though. You think not? Yeah. Okay. This is a historic okay. day, a monumental day. Um, having Barack Obama run for the presidential yeah, election. Um, <laughs> Like I said, very historic. I'm glad to be a part of history. Um, I feel Barack Obama is the average American. I feel that he, you know, best represents me, my situation. Um, everything from student loans to growing up without a father. So I feel that um, he may be actually the best choice for this presidential candidate. event in this country. I think it's harder when you're, you know, when you're of the younger generation and you didn't live through the civil rights movement and you're so far removed from, you know, your ancestors who were in slavery, but this is just amazing. And the fact that not only African Americans are voting for Barack Obama, but white Americans are voting for him too says a lot about our country. And I just have my fingers crossed that, you know, we can actually be the nation that, you know, we pr pr propose to be in the world. So, that's all I would say. <laughs> I appreciate it. There's some things that I'm sure we all want to survive this day, things that we think are important for our children and grandchildren to know and remember. And what are the main things that you think you'd want them to remember forever about today? That they have, that they will have the opportunity just like anybody else has the opportunity regardless of their their sex their um, their color their age whatever whatever you want to do you can do this there's no barriers anymore there's no barriers such as race anymore you can do whatever you want to do you can fulfill your life yeah. you want to fulfill yeah, you know as a piggyback off of that you know you it used to be a, a phrase that uh, uh, we as black people used to tell our children, you can be anything you want to be. Now the reality is really here. It's not just a bunch of words, but it's a reality that you can be anything you want to be. And so I, I want to just say this for generations yet unborn, that you can be anything you want to be.